Hello, good afternoon, it's Lloyd Dean here. Uh, quite a few people have spoken to me about creating um, a Purpose Games quiz um, to label dots and they're still a bit confused about how to, to set that up. So I'm just going to show you how to do this hopefully in this video tutorial. So the website we're looking for is www.purposegames.com I'll just go to the main screen. Uh, you're going to need to log yourself in username and passwords here. So once you log in, up here you can go to your own personal profile. And I've got loads of options here so I can I can see for example players are playing my game 12 minutes ago, 4 hours ago, etc. How many times your games have been played, etc, etc. Um, if I go into my games, if I hit this size to go through and load up, you can see that once I click through certain games, so for example Anatomical Planes, if I click through here, um, if I press start, I can start labelling um, reference points, which is really good for the students for identify ta un identification tasks. Um, it's also quite fun for them, it can help them identify. I've got a lovely leaderboard here. So we'll create a game. So you've guessed it, we're going to click this one here, uh, create. And this gives you a list, so you can create several different types of games. But the ones we, we said a minute ago, we're going to create dot games. So I'm going to click Go Create. Um, <laughs> you can see here I've got a number of different um, panels that I've used in the past for games. I'm just going to show you how to do it from scratch, really. So first of all, you need an image to upload. So I'm going to click um, Upload Image. So I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to go to Pictures. So I, I saved uh, an image earlier. So where are we going? We're going to go with Map. So I'm going to just label give it a name, I'm going to call this uh, map, if I click add background it uh, loads up and we can see the, the maps there. Now if I click on that map I can start using that as a game. So up here, I'm just going to, sorry in here, I'm just going to type in my game. So let's just call this a geography quiz. You can pick a category um, tag it so if people are searching for it, um, they can pick it up easily but I mean uh, it depends how you want to use it really. Uh, put a description in there, map of the world. And now I'm going to start, I'm going to touch a dot and I'm going to put um, just a little reference point there. So I'm going to say with this Africa. So I'm going to press another dot and now I'm going to put this as, oh, silly me. I'm going to put this as a south. America. I'm going to put another dot in here and I'm going to put this as North America. A couple of options you'll have. Do you want to show the game to everyone or keep private? Probably best to uh, share it to everyone. If we click advanced options um, you can have hints etc. I like just to keep this free. Give them a number of opportunities to play the game. Um, once I click... Uh, oh, see what I've done there? I've accidentally clicked uh, on, on a dot there, I didn't mean to. So if I'm going to click my delete button there, it deletes the last thing, so I've got rid of that. So it, just uh, be wary, if you don't select go from dot to neutral, you might have random dots um, going all over the place. So if that does happen, just hit the delete button, go back onto neutral. I'm going to click OK and save. Now it's saving and it's, it's going to give me the option to preview or publish. I'm going to want to publish this game. Uh, sorry, I'm going to want to preview this game before I publish it, um, so we can see. So when I click Start, it's asking me for North America. I'm going to go to North America, South America. If I click up here, it's not South America, I know, but you can see it's not enabled me to click it. Africa as well, which is great. So I'm going to go back to my previous screen. I'm going to click Publish. So it's published, so I can play away. So if I go back to the home screen earlier and into my games, you can see that my geography uh, quiz is now there. Now, there might be certain situations uh, in which you need to maybe remove some text from a diagram or so a certain part so you can put the dots on there. I'm going to show you now how to uh, do that. So if I go in, it's really, really quick and uh, simple. If I go into Microsoft Paint, which you can find in Accessories, here. I'm going to open up um, 
the map image we had a minute ago. Let's go to my pictures. Oh, yeah, there you are. Let's say, for example, I didn't want this um, cluster map logo here. I can click my uh, rubber tool. Well, I mean, there's a number of things we can do, but if you want to keep really simple, you can um, just put that down, put that down there, and then we can start rubbing rubbing that out. We can play around with the size, etc., etc. Um, sometimes you can just crop the image out, etc. You, you know what to do from here, but you can get the concept. So I will click Save As JPEG. Now you can save it as a new file. Um, I would just save it over my previous file. Um, so if I go back into um, Create a Game now, so go to Create Dots, um, add a background, choose File Silly Me. Um, so if we go to my map file now, um, we go to Map 1, add background. If we click this now, you can see this image is now covered up. So quite useful if you're lab labeling a certain part of the body, maybe a certain part of the car, whatever, if you don't want the actual text to be there.